Classic Gray by Benjamin Moore. How have I not done a color review of this beautiful color yet? I've used it with so many client projects. I'm gonna share with you today what the undertone is of Classic Gray. Three color comparisons you can already see behind me. The best whites to use in this color, as well as other color combinations to use for your home. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell below, you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. And stick around to the end of the video because I've got a couple of exciting things for you. Classic Gray is a green gray, so it has a green undertone. It's just such a beautiful hue. And when you look at it here, when it's compared with Horizon, you can see that Horizon is more of a blue gray. And then you can see on the other side of me, we've got Edgecomb Gray. And when you compare that with Classic Gray, it almost looks a little bit beige, but it's not. They're still grays, but this is what you need to do when you're comparing colors and you're looking at colors, sorry, you need to compare them so you can get a better idea of what the color actually is. The first white that we're going to look at with Classic Gray is White Diamond. So White Diamond's got a bit of a blue undertone, so it's a little bit cooler, but you can still use it with this green gray. And then over here, we've got Cloud White much creamier than the uh, white diamond over there. And then we've got here Chantilly Lace, which is the whitest of all of the whites that I use. And you'll notice that if you follow me, you'll see that I typically use, you know, six to eight whites all the time, the same whites. You don't need to use all those 10,000 whites. You just need to have a few that you know are good go-to whites. And these are the three that I'm recommending to go with Classic Gray. Remember when you're looking at whites, you are looking at that for probably your ceilings and your trim, maybe some cabinetry in your home. Uh, and just make sure that it goes with your fixed elements, so your countertops, your backsplash, if they have whites or creams, that's going to dictate which way you need to go with your trim color. I have used this color combination before, Hail Navy and Classic Gray. I'm going to tell you a few others that work really well, but take a look at this living room that we did for clients. The accent wall is the Hail Navy and look how lovely it ties in works with Classic Gray. And another client project, we use Classic Gray with Oxford White. Oxford White was the cabinetry color, and it is also another white that you could use. Take a look at it here in this kitchen that we designed for our clients. What other colors could you put with Classic Gray? Well, we've got Sandy Hook Gray over here. This is also a green gray, so they look beautiful together. Check out the contrast there. We've also got Abalone, which is a purple gray. It works lovely as well with Classic Gray. And then over here, we've got Coventry Gray. So you can see the different varieties in which you can go. This is a blue gray. So the green gray of Classic Gray works with many different colors. There's a total of 10 in my essential color guides. Uh, links are below. When you click on the link below, you'll be directed to my website and you will see a video there that tells you a little bit more about the color guides and what's included. So make sure you check that out. And make sure you've got my free download to get your paint colors right the first time. There's five tips in here. I wanna make sure that you are not making mistakes when it comes to choosing your paint color. Visit my blog at clairejeffert.com and I hope to see you there for more color and design clarity. I'm Claire Jefford, Certified Interior Decorator. I'll see you next time. Cheers. My eyes, my eyes. Look at that countertop. First of all, just ugly, I'm sorry. Second of all, busy. Look at that, busy. I mean, what, what, what's the star of the show? And then look at these cabinets, like a green undertone, a rustic look with a wood-based cabinet. What is happening here? No wonder people are so confused and need us.